smoke turbine guy coming back at you at the Edison estate where we are with the man right behind me here Lou who found Edison's generator set quite a few years ago okay Lou why don't you tell us the story well I used to be a volunteer here at the uh, Edison Ford uh, winter estates and uh, part of what I did was uh, mostly was giving a tour of the laboratory where he was trying to find a domestic source of rubber. Um, and in my working here, this chairman of the board asked me if I would take a look to see. She said, there's something back there, it might be a generator. But the weeds were up to my waist. I had to almost like make a path for myself. And they, this motor generator here was all covered with weeds. Took me a while to even look at the nameplate on it. and. Uh, I discovered it was a motor generator set, so it had a motor and there was a feed coming down from that utility pole and it fed into the motor. The motor generated electricity and at that time there was an old building standing right here where the batteries were. So Edison had a backup source of electric through the batteries. He might have had one bulb in each house. So if they lost the electric power from the from the city, which they probably did back in the 30s quite often, uh, he wouldn't be able to do that. He also used the batteries uh, to charge up and the generator to charge up his motor operated, uh, uh, it was a motorboat, electric motorboat. And he used to go back and forth with the electric motorboat and take people on rides. But uh, they didn't know this existed until I found it. When was uh, that? That was probably back in 2008. And uh, so since then, they've cleaned up the area and they uh, uh, they made a little presentation of it here. But none of this existed before I found it. So that was kind of cool. There we go. Motor generator. There's your specs. Turbine guy with the man who discovered Edison's motor generator set and backup battery bank. Turbine Guy, signing off.